We're going to get the latest now on the Chinese spy balloon. Let's take a live look off the coast of South Carolina. Pieces of the balloon have now been recovered after it was shot down Saturday by an F-22 fighter jet. And the White House is facing questions about why they allowed the balloon to cross the U.S. amid new tensions with China. Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is tracking the story from Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. And this morning, as you said, good news. Pieces of the balloon have now been recovered, with U.S. Navy vessels swarming that debris field with divers, cranes, whatever they can use to find what is left of that suspected spy vessel to try to solve this deepening mystery. This morning, critical recovery efforts underway for fallen debris from the suspected Chinese spy balloon. Break one. Splash one. That is a big kill. The Air Force confirming that is the voice of the pilot of that F-22 fighter jet that brought down the balloon craft Saturday just off the coast of South Carolina. In a new statement, U.S. Northern Command saying the balloon was brought down within sovereign U.S. airspace and over U.S. territorial waters to protect civilians while maximizing our ability to recover the payload. Now the U.S. Navy conducting active recovery operations of the seven-mile-long debris field. Experts hoping to analyze the suspected surveillance balloon's sensitive equipment, housing a technology bay roughly the size of three buses. The military operation ending the cross-country drama as Pentagon officials tracked the balloon's every movement as it passed over sensitive military installations, first entering the U.S. airspace over Alaska, it then re-entered in Idaho, passing through Montana, Wyoming, Kansas, and Missouri before getting to the Carolinas, where it was shot down offshore. President Biden saying he initially wanted to take the balloon down as soon as possible, but counsel from the Pentagon led to the decision to wait. Without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground, they decided that the best time to do that was when we got over water. But the administration facing political blowback for the decision to hold fire. Well, I can assure you that if we fly a balloon over China, they're going to shoot it down, and probably a lot sooner than we did. China claiming the balloon was a civilian airship and not a spy device, calling the U.S. decision to shoot it down an excessive reaction and warning that it retains the right to respond further. Of course, this was already a tense time with China, a nation we depend on as a major part of our supply chain. But the administration is trying to assure everyone that they are engaged and trying to ratchet down tensions. Rebecca? Martha, an important trading partner, but obviously big questions remain. Martha Raddatz, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.